第十三队表演的题目是 More with Root Tracing， 计时开始。Hey Alex, I want to go to Taiwan. Why? Because few days ago, I had a little chat with my grandma. She told me that our ancestors came from Taiwan. So I want to visit Taiwan to prove if my grandma is right. Can I go with you? I think that it will be interesting. Sure. Let's have a root tracing tour. Wait. You said we are going to Taiwan. Or rather, you know which city we should go. Of course. I searched the Google yesterday. It said that we should go to the east of Taiwan. So we are going to Taidong. Then what are we waiting for? Find a place to rest. Good idea. Wait, Alex. I hear some familiar language. Where does the voice come from? Look, there are some people with special clothes. Let's go to chat with them. Maybe they are the people who we are finding. Hey, excuse me. May I help you? We are Maori. We come from New Zealand. Just heard you two are chatting. The language you say is similar like our language. Oh, really? We are Amis. Many people say that Amis and Morris love their they are almost the same. Maybe that's the reason you can understand our language. That's good. Your culture interests us so much. Of course, let us tell you. You two are so lucky. Our tribe is holding our special celebrations. Our festival is to celebrate a year of harvest. And I let a hard year of our body and my rest. Wow, that'd be interesting. What will you do in Harvest Festival? We will dance, sing, and drink with good. We can teach you our traditional dance steps and songs. You two can also try our traditional curls. Sounds so cool. How time do you start your celebration? We will start from tomorrow morning. It is all day long. Would you come with us? Of course. We will look forward to it. So, you want to check in? Yeah! Welcome to Harvest Festival. You two are our VIP. So, what should we do now? But you two must wear our traditional clothes. Somebody, we will use Kiora Grid. We will look forward to going to your celebration. You will be welcome. Hey, Alex, I feel some, I feel some cultural gap. You mean? Yeah. Taiwanese don't do Kiora when they see their close friend, but they treat us as VIP. Taiwan's most beautiful sight is person. Yeah. Introduce our celebration and the meaning of our tattoos. 
In addition, Ami is always very passionate. They taught us how to dance, and we even wear their traditional clothes. So, so interesting. Can we go with you next time? Sure, why not? But we should prepare our celebration perfectly, as they treat us. Thank you. Friends in Xinjiu, Jishikashi. For decades, Taiwanese diplomats have focused on sharpening their skills of foreign languages, such as English. Spanish, French, and Japanese, but most of them have little knowledge of language spoken in Southeast Asia. Even though thousands of men and women from those countries have come to work in Taiwan, and from the perspective of economics, in order to decrease our dependency on China, President Tsai has imposed a new South Pole policy to strengthen the cooperation with Southeast Asian nations. Hey, Lee. I think this is a good policy because the enterprises from Taiwan could cut down on more cost and operating a factory in Southeast Asia than in China. Yeah, that's right. You know, my uncle closed his factory in China and moved it to Hanoi, Vietnam because he could make more profits there. Yeah, you bet. Besides that, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Taiwan even provides 10-month language training for those who are interested in diplomacy in Southeast Asia. And actually, next month, they're sending Taiwanese trainees to Vietnam, Indonesia, and Thailand. And you know I'm from India. In fact, this is the same reason why I'm here, because Tsinghua University offered me a scholarship to come to study in Taiwan. Huh, you know what? I have already signed up for that. You know, I will be one of those Taiwanese going to Vietnam to do a language training. And when I come back, I'm going to take the civil service special exam to become a Taiwanese representative in Vietnam. Wow, really? Good for you, man. I believe you can do that. And I think this is worth a toast. Come on, cheers. Yeah, cheers, man. Is there anything I should know before taking off? Um, I think you might encounter some culture shocks after you arrive there. Such as most people in Vietnam, you know, they horn. I mean, they literally horn their horn when they are driving or riding bikes. Big time! All the time! They are like, beep, beep, beep! Hey, come on, move your butt! Beep, beep, beep! Jeez, I see. Thanks a lot, Kim. No problem. <laughs> was going to Vietnam. Harry and Kim stayed in Tsinghua University and continued their study. Two weeks later, Lee flew to Ho Chi Minh City and learned Vietnamese at local language school. He even made some local friends and immersed himself in their culture. As for Harry and Kim, they were in Tsinghua. They went to school together, study together. They went out together shop together. In fact, they did almost everything together. Twelve months passed. Lee had finished his training and came back to Taiwan. Harry, Kim, and Lee finally meet again. Yo, it's a long time, bro. Yeah, I miss you guys. Yeah, we miss you too. How was your language training in Vietnam? It's good. I did feel the big culture shock. However, I gradually overcame that by making some local friends and trying to learn more about their culture. That's true. Just like Kim and I, we are foreigners and come to learn Mandarin in Taiwan. Taiwan people will have more favorable impression and feel close to us if we can speak the local language there. 
just like exactly what you did in Vietnam. That's right, and I'm gonna also finish my Mandarin Chinese next month. And you know what? I even got job offer from a big company in Taiwan. They have business with many local farmers in Vietnam, and I will work as a master to promote the organic produce from Vietnam. Wow, I'm so happy for you. And how about you, Harry? Ha, huh, actually, I'll have my internship at TSMC. Good, I will take my special examination for diplomacy next month. That will be great. All right, my dear friends. Let's make a toast again. May our dreams come true and have a bright future. Cheers. 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 Thank you. Fly to Taiwan. Good morning, everyone. We have a new student from Southeast Asia, and he will present himself. Please welcome him. Hi, I'm Busan. I'm Jason. I'm from Philippines. I'm 17 years old, and I hope I will have a great time in Taiwan and will experience a totally different culture here. Do you know where the Philippines is? Yes, I know. It is a country in South Asia, and it's under Taiwan. Oh, yes, that's correct. Teacher, I don't understand Jason from school. What do you mean? My own friend means good morning. It's Sibiano. You can get to know each other after class, but let's start again. Thank you, Jason. You can take a seat. So it's math class, and we will continue solving problems. What do we do next class? We learned about trigonometry. OK, please turn to page 25. basketball with us? What? Are we still in class? I thought you cannot stand up in the class. Just like the teacher say. How can we leave the classroom? Oh, in Taiwan, we have 10 minutes free time between the classes to take a rest. And we can do anything in this time. Well, that's so cool. In Philippines, we only have one minute to rest. And it's for teachers to change the classroom. That's really hard. I will be retired then. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. I really get tired. And you don't fall asleep sometimes. But then, the teachers wake me up. Same here, but we can go out. So let's go to play basketball. The guys are waiting for us. Okay, let's go. Wow, that's pretty nice. How do they do a habit in your school? 
I want to start in your school. <laughs> of course. You can come to Fabian with me. Why go back? Uh, just kidding. Although I think that would be a really nice experience for me. Taiwan and the Philippines are so different. Yeah, but there are still some similarities. At least, we are all students and we all have to study. You have 10 minutes back and we don't. Yes, but you can stand up in the class and we can. And you have more time for your free time activities. And we have to go to class. Oh, by the way, we have to leave now because we have to catch the bus. Okay, maybe we can hang out this weekend. Bye. Bye. Thank you for your listening. 第十六队表演的题目是 Telesurgery, collaborating with South Asia. 计时开始。Utilizing a surgical robot system to operate on patients, even if they are physically far apart from doctors. Am I going to die with two doctors so far apart? No, no. Physicians will take very good care of you. Yes. Dr. Wen, thanks for setting up the operation. Jiao, hi, Dr. Lin. My honor. Well, without further ado, let's get on with the operation. Oh, I see the tumor. I'm going to move the robotic arm to remove it. <sighs> Darn, beautiful. Wake up, Miss Song. The operation was a success. Congratulations! Mm, over? Yes, thanks to telesurgery and Dr. Lin. I'm glad I was able to secure your help too, Dr. Wen. Miss John, the operation went well. You won't suffer anymore. Come on, thank you, doctors. I have nothing but gratitude. Oh, hi! So 
glad to see you back here. And these are Jane, you know, Dr. Lin. And this is Dr. Wen, visiting from Vietnam. And glad to see you too. How was work in Vietnam? Good. We... Oh, you're being humble. Actually, it was wonderful. And that's why I'm here, to show appreciation in person. You're so kind. In fact, we have to thank you too. Our government is expanding ties with its southern partner countries in all aspects. With this new policy, in the long run, technically and monetarily speaking, it will benefit us, medical personnel, greatly. Yes, hell to the southbound policy! Thank you! The Taking a Trip to Promising Future. Here, 
My parents take pride in what I have done for their business. And guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna introduce the beauty of Taiwan to people here. A trip to Taiwan? Why? I think the Taiwanese should take a trip to Vienna. But what you just mentioned seems to be something different. Are you sure about what you're doing? Of course, be different and make money. Since Taiwan is beautiful, the end, people are friendly. So my package store will help travel agency earn a lot of money. The viewers in Taiwan are brilliant, and the Taiwanese and the in, in Taiwanese are all friendly and passionate, just like me. Oh, Johnny, you really do something great. Oh my gosh, Mia is sleepy. Poor old girl. Oh no, it's too late. I'm gonna sleep. Bye. Okay, bye. bye. Sometimes it's really hard to get something start. However, we teenagers should be courageous and optimistic. There are always opportunities for us to make use of. So don't be afraid. Just enjoy the new cell phone policy and find your path to a promising future. Do it and be a winner. Thank you. The culture creation slash youth. Uh, hi there. Hi. Welcome to the Australasian exhibition. My name is Julia. I'm a volunteer here and ready to assist you. Great. I brought my friends along from New Zealand. We thought it would be cool to check out the expo. Hey. Do you open an introduction of the exhibition? Yes. We have many language packs available. Just take the one you need. Do you also have any guided introductions? We have several volunteers from many Australian countries, including New Zealand. I can ask one of them to guide you around. I'm going to entrance. How can I help you, Julia? Oh, hi, I'm Emily. You need me to guide you around, right? Yes, if you don't mind, please. It's my pleasure. Please follow me. Show layout. You can select which language you want, such as Malay, Tagalog, Thai, along with others. Wow, the setup is so considerate toward foreigners. Yes, with this, I can understand a lot more information. So, where do you want to take a look first? Um, the cultural and creative industry sounds interesting. Okay, this way, please. Yes, I know that. But I just can't leave here. 
He is my whole life. If you separate us from each other, my life will be meaningless. Don't worry about that. Taiwan and New Zealand invented a new product together, which can prevent electromagnetic tage, which can prevent electromagnetic waves called AEWP. Anti-electromagnetic wave patch. With this patch, you can use your phone carefully. Mm, I'm really thinking about setting up an online trading platform to sell these creative and forefront tech products. I believe they will be hugely popular internationally. Apart from retail, are they available in wholesale? Of course. Let me check. Due to the many qualities of sugar zephyrs compared to the alternative, it has a greater absorption ability and they are 100% biodegradable. And you can become a slushy, a student and an entrepreneur. A slushy? What's that? I've never heard of it. I'm a slushy and that means I don't only have a single genetic job, but multiple jobs which are based on my hobbies or interests. For instance, my uncle is an interior designer, a journalist, and an author, so he's a slashy. Oh, I see. So basically, I can earn money doing the things I like and not speak to just one industry. Sounds cool to me. Actually, being a volunteer is also kind of slashy. Hmm? So how did you become a volunteer here? Pretty easy. More and more schools are getting involved with the new Southbound policy. Yeah, my school too. It offers opportunities for students to get involved in new projects, both at home and abroad. It can open doors for our future, bring us closer to our southbound neighbors. That sounds fantastic! The, the youth of today are the future of tomorrow! Thanks Thank for watching! The Go big or go south. 计时开始。Good morning, student. In this semester, there is a new class list. That's our one house, Nicole. Hello, everyone. My name is Nikun. I'm from Thailand. I'm glad to see you in here, and I hope that I can have a good time with all of you. Thank you. Thailand, do you mean one of Southeast Asian nations which has serious labor, turnover problem, and chaotic traffic? This nation, Thailand? Ha 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 Hey, don't say that, okay? I believe that Nicole can share Thailand control with us. It will be an interesting intercultural communication. I'm sorry, I really appreciate teacher's compliment. However, in Thailand, hair is an important part of body. Thus, no one can pay other hand and render. It may be very insulting to Thailand people. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry to misunderstand you. Oh my gosh! What wrong with you? You look so funny. Do Thailand people always take off shoes in public? Oh my! Well, Taking off shoes is a common behavior of Thailand. We Thailand people don't consider, don't consider this kind of behavior as a strange thing. Alright, everyone, now we record his Alright, everyone, now we is a cultural different Thailand and Taiwan. Dun, 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 dun. I bought a special made fish, such from my hometown. Come on, everyone, please feel free to give it a try. It's a great flavor of Thailand. Oh, oh, oh! What's this horrible smell? It smells like dead fish. This is very disgusting. Don't say that so loud, Jimmy. Nicole just wants to eat his family food with us. We want to well hurt his feelings.
Nikun. I'm curious why you are coming to Taiwan. I happen to read about of the, the new Taobao policy of Taiwan on my school website. Teacher, can you tell us what the new Taobao policy about? Trust me, now a day is a year of a e-learning. You have you you have the table to unveil to the table information with us. I know. The new South South policy is a crucial part of Taiwan's economic and the trade strategy. Anything else? The new South South policy work plans will focus on four areas, economic and trade cooperation, talent exchange and resource sharing, and regional connectivity. Yes, that's the reason why I'm here. Many of my friends want to visit Taiwan as exchange students like me next year. Wow, cool. I'm interested to learn in Thai. I believe we can have a nice communication of language. I think that learning Singapore, Vienna, and the Philippines are cool for me. That's a good idea. If you have a personality, energy, danger, and culture, you have the chance to take diplomas and work in the future. Attention. Bow. Thank, Thank you. you. The twenty-two performance the theme is an encounter. It's a reunion. Start. Breaking news, the Thailand soccer team members who were trapped in the cave still haven't been found by the rescuers. The only trace is their bicycle around the entrance of the cave. As you can see, these are soccer team members' photos What? Mom, see, I'm on TV! Huh? What are you talking about? Look at the thin and smoothly boy on TV. That's me, Adu. Why am I in the cave? Is that normal right now? Is that man the cave which we open pack too? Pardon? Are you alright, daughter? Not again. I have encouraged my mind with this so-called Zito, and I have to be busy acting like Zito now. So, where is Zito now? Oh no, is she in a cave? Hey, Adu, let's go. What are you doing? Hey, oh no, not again. Why am I changing my mind with Adu again? How about my job interview? What are you talking about? You are going to celebrate your classmate's birthday in Nam Nun Nen Nang today, remember? Nam Nun Nen Nang? Nam Nun Nen Nang? No, 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 you can't go there, you will be in trouble. So, are you ready to go or what? If it rains later, you won't get there. It seems that I have no choice but to go then. Maybe I could help those soccer pairs. I'm coming. Come here, let's take a picture. Cheese. What should I do? Are there any clues? Ouch. What are those? That's it. Dean wants to teach in my separate school in my hometown. The interview time is on June 20th in the morning. I have to get ready for it. about New South Bank policy for you. Thank you, Professor. There are three objectives. First of all, offer quality education and professional training to domestic, Asian, and South Asian youth. Secondly, expand bilateral exchange of young scholars and students. Third, build a platform for bilateral educational cooperation. Hmm. Do you have any advantage over other competitors here? For example, are your parents both Taiwanese? No, they aren't. 
As a second generation immigrant, I earned a chance for the internship in Taiwanese corporations from my ancestral country. This time, as a selected university student teacher, I decided to go to PCSA school for training and internship in Thailand. What will you do for ASEAN and South Asian students? Provide professional skills and practical language courses. After that, I will encourage them to come to Taiwan for study or research. Most of all, I will, sh I will share information and encourage more Taiwanese students to get extensive experiences to help them. I think you are the person we want. Congratulations and welcome. Thank you, my so favor. It's me again! Oh yeah, I'm alive! You won't die! It was I who let place to a calf. I show those divers the map of the calf. Fortunately, that saving a day burst someone's sacrifice. Then I picked up sorrow. That's too bad. Still thanks to you, you passed the Chinese interview. Believe me, I will help you to get Taiwan scholarship and a high enrichment scholarship. Most of all, I will recommend you studying Taiwan. Awesome, Nilo. Yes. I mean, I agree. We won't forget the divers from all the world, especially those who sacrifice themselves. Thank you very much. The second performance the theme is Southbound and Down. Hey, what's up, everyone? Hey, you two. After like 10 hours of flying, Kevin and I have finally made it off the plane and are here in the beautiful but very hot Indonesia for the start of our backpacking trip. Brandon and I will be going from Singapore up through Malaysia into Thailand, making a quick stop in Cambodia before going to Laos, then Vietnam, then finally the Philippines. And from there, we're going all the way down to Australia. I can't wait. Me either. We'll be updating the vlog every day. So if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And hit the bell to be sure that you get the notifications. <sighs> nice job, Kathy. Let's go get a tiny left of the landscape near the water and some by the main street. And I think uh, there's a place where we can get some B-roll of people walking around. OK, cool. But I'm really hungry, though, so can we go get something to eat? Also, don't you want to change? Why would I change? I look great. Um, not really. You stick out like a sore thumb. Uh, you're just jealous. Hey, what are they doing over there? Hi. Excuse me, what are you doing? We are celebrating Carnival. Carnival. It's one of the biggest Indonesian festivals in the month of October. That's so cool. Would you mind if we record it and ask you a few questions? Sure, sure. We can even teach you how to do a dance. Just do what we do. Do it. 
Wait, you're not from here? No, Emily and I, we are best friend ever! I'm actually from Taiwan. We are too. No way, really? So why are you here? We're here because of something called the new southbound policy. Oh, I've heard of that. The countries involved want to build a stronger connection and influence in other Asian countries. Wait, does it include Australia and New Zealand? Sure. I had no idea anything like that existed. That's great. I agree. So what have you been doing here? Well, we'll be traveling around to collect more information about other countries and to learn about their culture. I love it. You must have just started. How could you tell? Just a lucky guess. I love to hear more about this new southbound thing you are talking about. Sure, and maybe we can teach you something about where we are from at the same time. Wait, since you taught us a dance, how about we teach you one too? Together Better Isn't this my favorite Nafu? How was your flight from India to Taipei? Pretty good. And Lovey, this is my friend Angela. Our parents are colleagues and I invited her to visit together. Welcome to Taiwan. Thank you. Uh, um, where are we? Isn't he home? Your cousin locks himself in the room, stuck on some coding problems with the upcoming robot contest. Um, why don't you give him a hand, Auntie? Isn't this your expertise? I don't want him to take any shortcuts. Since you're here, you can join him. Oh. I remember school at Bangalore, the so-called Silicon Valley of India, has focused a lot on the education and information technology. No problem. Knock, knock. Wow, thank goodness you're finally here. Hurry. I'm giving my robot some commands, but the program has failed hundreds of times. Let me see what the problem is. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. It's not working. <clears throat> Do you mind stepping aside for me to take a look? Erwin, this is Angela, my friend from India. Angela, this is my cousin Erwin. Do you know what's going wrong? Don't worry, the savior is here. Voila, here you go. Amazing. But what do you want a robot to do? I'm working on the function to make the robot interact with the elderly. You know, Taiwan is becoming an aging society. We need lots of elder care, and I believe AI is going to play a crucial role in this part. Wow. Your creativity on the application of artificial intelligence is impressive. So, problem solved. Time for some snacks. Thank you, Aunt Lovey. I'm starving. The food on the plane sucked. Hey, Mom. I remember you mentioned about the scholarship provided by your company for IT talents. I think you've got two potential candidates here. Yeah, you're right. Chris, you don't know that your aunt works in the Xinzhu Science Park, the Silicon Valley of Taiwan. Of course, TSMC is ranked the top 10 tech firms in the world. My company is planning for the future. 
since the declining birth rate, as put this strain on many academic programs in college, it's harder for us to recruit IT talents in Taiwan. At least one third fewer than a decade ago. That's why my company is encouraging talents from abroad, especially countries with more young populations or countries that are more competitive in IT or mathematics, like India, to study in the universities here. You got me interested. More details about the program? Sure. Awesome. I'll tell my parents the great news now. Heading south to India seems to pave new road for the young generation. a big hand to welcome the winner of the Artificial Intelligence World Cup in 2018, Erwin Lai, Chris Chen, and Angela Sharma. It's an honor to present this new device called CAT, standing for a child that is always there. With the assistance from Artificial Intelligence, it interacts with the elder once every hour. If the elder feels fine, they respond to questions such as, would you like to listen to a song by touching the screen? If the elders don't have any response, the scanning system will start to check their blood pressure or pulse with a smartwatch the elders wear on their wrists. They then compare the result with the elders' medical record. The device will decide if it is necessary to contact anyone for further treatment. Congratulations! I'm so proud of you! Thank you, Aunt Lavi. We wouldn't be able to accomplish such achievement without you and your company. That's true. Thanks to the cooperation between the two Silicon Valley of India and of Taiwan, the computer engineering students in India get the chance to have paid internship jobs in the outstanding tech companies in the Xinzhu Science Park. I'm glad to have more international students in our classroom. My communicating ability has improved. Of course, my coding ability has got better too. It sounds like we've created a win-win situation for both countries. With the contributions from so many young talents, my company can continue to sparkle in a leading position in the world of technology. One brain plus. One brain equals infinity. Hey, what about my brain? Then, sky's the limit for your generation. Thank you. When Sobaya met Sihu, Ji Shi Kashi. Hey, wow, my name and your name. Say hi to them. Hi! Welcome to Taiwan. Well, Salama Tata. Wow, excellent. I'm Emily. Eric? You must be Alice, right? Dad. I have no idea you have learned some Indonesian. We picked up a little Indonesian in optional course since we have exchange program with your school. Actually, I can speak some Taiwanese, like Li Ho, Jia Ba Boy. My grandfather told me he is a descendant of Taiwan. He is? Then we are like brothers. Wow, I like your dress. It's so unique. Oh, uh, really? This is our traditional clothing. We call it Padik. I have a prepared one for you. I hope you like it. Wow, thank you. I would love to know how to put it on, but mm, it's been kind of late. Let's move to our hometown, Shihu. It's gonna be a three hour tour. Sure, let's go. I can't wait for that. Enjoy the delicious fruits. We got Our government has already launched many a 
agricultural cooperation projects and agreements in is, uh, established in areas such as irrigation, rice cultivation, and personnel training under the New South South policy. Wow, you know a lot about this policy. You must be very interested in agriculture. Yeah, maybe you'll see me in Indonesia someday. That's great. Wow, it's so noisy here. And the fireworks are so beautiful. Sure, on 24 lunar calendar, we celebrate the birthday of Guan Gong, a powerful warrior who is the guard of our town. We feast our relatives and friends as well as fathers. Wow, this is quite amazing. I have been never so crazy in my hometown, Surabaya. Hey, wait, why is that? It's so cute. Oh, that puppet show, one of our folk customs. It tells the story when Guan Gong formed an alliance with Liu Bei and Zhang Fei. Oh, it's very, very fascinating to know some of your folk customs. Hey, why don't you go straight? Let's go. so sad you are leaving. I can't believe today is your last day in Taiwan. I wish you guys can stay for a couple of few days. Yeah. We feel the sad. Hey, but don't worry. I'll be coming back to Taiwan next year. You know what? I intend to apply for the Department of Mechanical Engineering in National Chenggong University thanks to a new southbound policy. You do? National Chenggong University is my wish too. Wow, I'm impressed that you seem to have plans for your future. Wow, why don't you sign up for the exchange program to Surabaya next summer? Haven't I told you that? You know, now, Surabaya is called land of opportunity. Oh, you may find your destiny in Indonesia, like Alibaba seek opportunity launching a 10-year project in Indonesia. I will! You guys have inspired me a lot. I feel motivated to fight my challenge to make my wish come true. Hey, it's very nice, but we have no time. We gotta go boarding. So maybe see you next year to Surabaya. See you next year. See you. See ya. I will miss you. Bye-bye. Wait, where's Alice? Alice! Here I am I! I'm going to find my destiny in Indonesia. See you! Thanks, Thanks for listening! listening. <laughs> 第24队表演的题目是 Nothing Ventured, Nothing Gained 计时开始 Daddy, I have something to discuss with you. Are you going to tell me that you want to run a business in Thailand again? I don't think I'll change my mind. I mean, you see, I've done some research. First of all, Songkla in Thailand has better water quality. Considering the industrial pollution along our west coast, besides... I know, I know. No, you don't. Listen. <sighs> Thailand, located in the center of Southeast Asia, it's a member of Association of Southeast Asia. We can benefit from the free trade and much lower tariff among the 10 member countries, including Vietnam, Indonesia. It's a really large market, you see. Hey, I know you graduated from a top university, but honey, your major is computer science, not fishery. Theory is one thing, put it in practice is quite another. Hey, Dad, I'm your daughter. I've been watching you doing fishery stuff ever since I could remember. You've told me a lot. So please, don't you always tell me nothing ventured, nothing gained? I never get tired of listening to your stories. How you set up your business? How you started from scratch? How... Okay, I'll give you two years. But only two years, and I'll give you all the support you need. But if you fail, you'll have no alternative but to come back. By the way, I would assign a staff member to assist you. Really? That's awesome! Thanks, Dad! You're the best! Hey, Rosa! We have some problems! What's going on? Although the sales volumes are good, they don't bring much money. And the problem 
profits margin is not as good as expected, as the labor cost is increasing. Oh, that's really a big problem. I will try to install an AI system to monitor the browse, such as the extra level in the water, so that we don't need to hire so many workers. Okay, AI is everything. Yeah. And among the province that, compared to other countries, Indonesia has the lowest sales. I can't figure out why. Perhaps they are not that into seafood. Oh, so funny. All right, all right. Uh, ah, I have an Indonesian roommate majoring in marketing. When I was in NTU, we can ask her for help. That would be great. <laughs> How's it going? Never better. By the way, how's your business in Southeast Asia? Pretty good, except in Indonesia. The sales are not as good as expected. Ah, oh, I can imagine why. Do you have the halal certification for your crowns? Huh? Nah, huh? It's halal certification. You know, 86% of population in Indonesia are Muslims, and we prefer the food with halal certification. Oh, I see why. Thanks for time. I'll give it a try. I owe you one. Oh, it's not that big of a deal. Bye. After a year, they got them to allow the vacation successfully and expanded their market to the Southeast Asia. Now, we're invited to a news program in Taiwan. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to New Age. I'm Sophia. It's our honor to have a very young entrepreneur to our show today. Now, let's welcome her assistant, Nandi, her father, Mr. Lin, and our prom queen, Rosa Lin, to the show. So, what motivated you to expand the Fisher business to Southeast Asia? Well, the answer is simple. It is time to go global. And we think Southeast Asia is a good place to start with because of all the benefits of ASEAN. Okay, and Mr. Lin, what was your initial reaction when Rosa told you that she failed at running business in Thailand? Well, at first, I was worried about the prospect. But now, I'm so proud of my daughter. In my opinion, parents should give their children a chance to venture, no matter how hard it would be. That's true. And Rosa? Do you have any suggestions for the youth? Life is either a dairy adventure or nothing. So seize any golden opportunity and give it a try. Let's rock together. Thank you, Rosa. Well goes the saying, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Are you ready to take on the challenges? After the break, we'll hear more insights from our guests. Thank you and stay tuned. Thank you. Thank you. 